Hey guys, Jay Stu Productions here. Uh, what I want to talk to you today about for a little bit is uh, keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut because I, I can't stress to you enough how awesome they are and how much time it can save you, especially once you get the hang of it. It's just like typing. It's, it's really awesome. And uh, I edit on Final Cut every single day, and I use these things. I, I live by them. They are awesome, and I'm going to start... Uh, Real quick, by dragging a couple clips down into the timeline just to uh, give us something to work with here. Okay, so the first one I am going to talk about is uh, in and out points. Um, now, in and out points can be used two different ways. If you have a clip already in your timeline, like this one, um, you can double click on it, which brings it up into your viewer. You can see that you can scroll through your video, obviously, with your mouse, or you can play it whatever you'd like. But if you have a specific section of this video that you want, then that's where in and out points come in really handy because if you decide that you want the video the clip to start right here, that's going to be where you want the video to come in. So you just hit the I key and it automatically adjusts your video accordingly. You skip through a little bit and you say, okay, I want it to come to right here. Okay, well that's the out point. That's where the video goes out. So you hit O. Oh, and it automatically will trim your video. You'll see down on the timeline that it, uh, it trims it for you. So that's really, really handy. You could also do the exact same thing by double clicking on a clip up in your browser and then it, it comes into your viewer. And you can do it the same way, that way as well. I, and I want it to go out right there. So um, that's super, super cool. And uh, if you look up here, this little box will tell you uh, the, the duration of your your newly acquired clip and uh, and yeah it's, it's really handy Just play around with it um, obviously probably the most important um, the most important shortcut you can have is the undo key which is um, Apple or command I'm gonna start calling it Apple from now on but just remember that it's uh, the command key on your Mac keyboard you know, the little uh, box squiggly line thing. So it's going to be Apple Z. We'll undo it. And you can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can probably do your last 10 um, changes to your video you can undo. And then after that, then, then you're done. So anyways, okay. So Apple Z is undo. Um, obviously, you guys have probably heard of the blade key, which is you achieve by hitting the B key and that just cuts your video. Uh, you can cut your audio or in individual tracks. Um, if you hit the B key twice, double B, that's going to give you a double blade and it'll cut everything that you have. If you have 20 video tracks and 15 audio tracks laid out together, it's going to cut through everything. Just one big slice right through your your project. So. Um, that is the the blade key basically cut so I'm gonna undo this and move on um, the a key is, is another um, really popular one if you want to just get back if you're in the blade key and you want to get back to where you can just kind of select clips you just hit a and that's basically your selection tool that'll bring you kind of back to where you began um, Okay, let's talk about the, the Apple key because a lot of really cool stuff can be done with the Apple key and I use it um, way too much. Um, okay, Apple plus R is render. So you guys probably know what render is if you're watching this. Apple R is render. Um, Apple T is going to be a transition. So if we, are, if we want to transition right here, we're going to click on it so it's sort of highlighted, and then hit Apple T, and that'll give it a cross dissolve. Okay, it's not going to be a fade, it's not going to be anything fancy. It's just a cross dissolve. You might be able to customize that, but uh, I haven't found a need to, so I haven't yet. So that's what Apple T does. Now, if you want to do the same thing with your audio, it's similar to that, but it's a little bit different. You want to hit Option Command T. Okay, so. I'm sorry, Option Apple T. So Apple T for 
a video transition. Option Apple T for an audio transition. Um, okay, back to the to more Apple shortcuts. Uh, let's see. Apple S is save. Do this often if you don't have, especially if you don't have your project set up for autosave. I'd still do it. Do it all the time because you never know um, when you might need it. And I haven't saved yet, so it's going to ask me to save it. But um, Okay. Apple I. Apple I is going to be your import. If you import a lot of footage into your product blah, project, this is probably an important one. So Apple I, and it'll... Uh, you know, it'll bring up your finder window, and that'll, it's just kind of a quick way to access all the stuff on your hard drive, your music, photos, movies, video clips, everything like that, um, and import them directly in. Let's see, what else? Okay, here's a really cool one. As long as you have your timeline selected, um, and you want to, ex to kind of stretch out your, uh, your timeline so you can see it a little bit easier, you can use that by hitting the Apple Plus key you hit that, see how it stretches it out, and vice versa, Apple minus key shrinks it. And that's super handy, and you'll find that you'll use that all the time. The arrow keys are um, pretty simple, but also very important as well. Really up and down is, is what you'll, you'll probably find yourself using a lot. Um, if I'm at the very beginning of, of my clip, and I hit the down arrow key, I jump to the very next cut in, in your timeline, whether it's video or audio, it's going to down, it's going to, it's just going to, going to go down. If you hit the up arrow key, it's going to go backwards. Um, the left and right arrow keys will move frame by frame. Now you can't really see that, but if I use Apple Plus and stretch this out, you will see that the, the right arrow key will move your timeline forward one frame and backwards. So that's how that works. Um, snapping, if you haven't heard of snapping before, that is the, the N key. What snapping does is right now snapping is on. So if I am moving this clip over to this one, it snaps in. See how it snaps in like that? Now if I don't have snapping on, it's just going to kind of overlay and it's really hard to get that to, to, to line up real good so snapping is is really nice to have on the end key turns that on um, also you can come over here and see if right now snapping is on if I hit the end key it's off so when it's on it's in green so that's good um, shift T is one of the last ones that I'm going to talk about shift T will make it big or it'll make it really small four different sizes small normal large extra large um, so if you if you've got kind of a small project it might be nice to uh, have it a little bit bigger where you can really sort of see the icon screen here or the little icons to see what your footage is um, and okay if you have a home key which I assume you do you can hit the home key and it'll go to the very beginning of your timeline. The very beginning, whether you have footage at the very beginning or not, it's gonna go there. And vice versa, if you hit the end key, it's gonna go to the end. So that's kinda handy if you need to get there in a flash. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is a fit to window. Up here, you'll notice uh, right now my video is only at 33%. 33% it has to shrink down to to fit into this window perfectly. If I go up to 100%, it doesn't. Uh, it's it's kind of zoomed in. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't really work. So, but there's times when you might need that. Anyways, if you find yourself in this situation where your video is way too big and you need it to fit into your window, Shift Z will automatically fit it in there. Okay. You can come up to this little box and and you know fit to window here, but it's it's a little bit nicer just kind of in a hurry. Shift Z, bingo, you're there. So anyways, uh, if any of these were of any use to you and uh, you've enjoyed them, practice them, learn them, it will become like second nature and you'll love them and you'll thank me. Okay? You guys have a good day. See ya.